Okay. Okay, so I'm Dave Bailey, and I'm going to show you guys how to build your own deionizing water tank for cleaning windows. So what we have here is just a little, I think it's a three-gallon deionizing water tank. Uh, it's just a water softener, basically. And what it does is it removes all minerals and, and uh, impurities out of the water. Uh, because when you clean windows, you don't, you don't want any impurities in the water because that's what's going to cause your streaks and it redeposits uh, those deposits back on glass. So that's not what you want. So we have the water tank here, or the, the deionizer tank, and in the back, we've got a uh, inline water filter. So this purifies the water once it's been deionized. And then this shoots water, deionized water, to the end of this, this pole here. I have a brush set up assembly here with uh, some hoses connected to the ends with uh, holes in the brush and this is going to connect to a long hose which is this just like this and it'll just kind of fit in here and then we just kind of twist it around the pole like this so now we have something to work with so that's that part right there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assemble this thing and show you how to do it. I got most of this, this stuff that you see here at Home Depot. Uh, the, the tank, we already had the tank and we already had the filter, but you can get those. The tank costs about two, two hundred and fifty dollars something like that. It costs about a hundred dollars recharge. It lasts you about one season, maybe two. Uh, and then this is just a collapsible dolly that I picked up at Home Depot for twenty-five bucks. Works pretty good. Uh, serves as my frame to mount everything. Uh, this is just simply a washing machine hose, okay, uh, for my connectors. And then we've got some more stuff here, reducers and things I uh, need to add to uh, bring the the pressure down from a, a, a water hose into your, your spigot uh, so that it will fit through this. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and build this thing. I've already got this stuff prepped here with uh, plumber's tape. So. This is the end, so this is flow, so the water is going to flow in this direction. So we need to build this like such. Oops, put this in here first. And when this is done, this will clean your windows without leaving any drips or streaks or anything. It'll just drip dry in the sun. Make sure this gets nice and snug because you don't want it to leak and you don't want to lose pressure because when it leaks, you lose pressure. And you have to remember you're pushing this water just from this pressure in your hose all the way up to the top of the brush which is going to be several feet in the air it doesn't matter it's going to be okay so you have to be able to push that water uphill and if you notice i'm using brass fittings on nylon and that's not exactly a good idea but that's the that's the best i could come up with right now so it's going to have to work ah crud guess what i gotta go back this is the other way i put the wrong fitting in it <laughs> Actually, no, I didn't. This is correct. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. This is correct. I just gotta... So I've pretty much been uh, working on this thing all day. I'm missing a part somewhere. Uh, no, that's not it. This has got to go here. No, that's not the part that I need. Is it on top of the barbecue? Oh, that's not it either. There's what the heck? Great part up there. Oh, I got it right here. It fits. There we go. That should be good for now. Now on this side, this is your exit. 
this is after the water's been purified and deionized. This is where it's going to come out. Let me get this tightened down. connect this is the in and out so this is where the water is going to come in from the faucet so I want a little gate valve here so I can turn it off at will Okay, so this is going to go, water's coming in through here, coming out through here, so we're going to connect this. And this, again, this is just simply a washing machine hose, and I put some grommets in there just to keep it from leaking. And then the rest of it, oops, I got this in backwards. This top one goes over here. This one goes here. And this one goes here. Okay, now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Get rid of some of these zip ties that I've used to secure these hoses with. And the other components. Yeah, it's nothing pretty, but you know something that works pretty good? And anything that's going to make you somewhere around $200 an hour is probably worth your time. Okay, and so you see that I've got everything mounted by way of straps. I just bought some straps at the hardware store and mounted it onto the frame. And I connected some zip ties here just to keep it, you know, the straps from slipping up over the top of this. It just keeps it nice and secure. Now we're going to hook it up to the hose. So here is where it connects into your filter. This is output. Got nice little connectors. All the stuff I got at Home Depot. Okay, now all we have to do is hook up the hose. And wouldn't you know it, we don't have the right uh, connector. There we do. <laughs> Look at that. I had a spare part that I didn't think I was going to use. Ah, that still doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, well project canceled for the moment. I don't know how else I'm going to do this. Uh, shoot. That sucks. End of part one. I'll get back to you. Part two. <laughs>